Hey y'all, this is your girl Kitty Cam and welcome to the Cutie Cam vlog. Um, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day or evening wherever you are. So um, we're going to be doing another reaction, of course, Nephew Tommy. I know y'all really enjoyed um, the videos I upload, so we're going to be doing more reactions, okay? So before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Other than that... Let us get right into it. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach a uh, Quincy please. This is. Hey, how are you? My name is Maurice. Maurice calling you from the power company. How you doing today? Uh, I'm all right. What's up? Well, listen, <laughs> we're doing some testing in your neighborhood. Okay. We're trying to make sure we don't have to actually shut the power down out there. And uh, we're, we're calling around to uh, quite a few people in your neighborhood <laughs> running some tests on individual homes and making sure the uh, electricity is running correctly. Um, can I get you to do a few things for me and see if uh, and the, and, and the quicker we get through with this, sir, and it's a possibility we won't have to turn your power <laughs> off at all. I know you don't want us to have to come out and turn power off and you got stuff in your refrigerator that can spoil and things like that so we want to try to get this done and hopefully the power with the with the test that we run it'll 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 run correctly and we won't have to do anything okay uh, i don't know nothing about no electricity though you know what i'm saying so no 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 i understand that don't worry about that all right uh here's what i need you to do now how big is your house what do you how many bedrooms you got four bedrooms four bedrooms now yeah. you have upstairs downstairs it's too short okay all right so here's what we need to do um if you can... This ain't gonna take long, though, right? I gotta, because I'm in a hurry, man. I ain't gonna have a lot of time. No, no, no. This this, 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 this won't take long at all, sir. Mm -hmm. Can I get you to take your breaker and shut down everything upstairs? And we're gonna run a test on the stuff <laughs> downstairs right now. It'll be real quick. All right. Just shut, just shut everything off? I want you to keep the downstairs open and keep that so we can, so we can run our test. On. All right. Everything's shut. Everything's down. Okay. You, you turn it off. Everything. I just turn off all the switches. Okay, here's what I need you to do. I need you to uh, turn on your television and then turn it off. Downstairs? Downstairs. How many TVs you got downstairs? I got two TVs downstairs. Let's turn them both on. Hang on. Just turn them on? Yeah, just turn them on. You got them on? I got one on. Hang on. Let's try to turn that other one on. <laughs> All right, they both on. Okay, now you got a microwave in your kitchen? Yeah, I got a microwave. Okay, turn that on. It's already on, man. I can see the lights on. It's got the clock on it. That's got that double atron thing that's going through there, and it's a whole different type of current. I just want to make I don't sure. know about what you're talking about, but I got to get to work, man. So the <laughs> microwave's on. It's running. No, no, no. I want you to actually turn it on. I want you to actually push like a minute or two on that thing. What's that oh, oh. Do anything, man? Come on now. I mean, what do I got to do? No, this is a test, sir. What I don't want to have to do is come out there and turn your power off. Uh, I don't want right, to do that. You got a lot of food in your fridge, I'm sure, right? All right. All right. Hey, look, it's on. Microwave's on. Mm. TV's on. Okay, now, <laughs> open your refrigerator. Work, man. The electricity works downstairs. Okay, but listen, now, I, I know, but what we got to do is we got to make sure that this stuff isn't overpowered. Now, can you open your refrigerator? Yeah, yeah man. Now, do you see the uh, button that, that uh, actually has, I mean, you can turn the, you can push it and the light will go out, you know what I'm talking about? Come on, man. You ain't got nobody to just be able to check something outside, man. I mean, I'm in the fridge. I, I understand, but push that button five times for me. See what it does. <laughs> the the what the the light button? Yeah, push that light button five times. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, did, did it go off and on every yeah, time? It's off and on, man. The, 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 oh my ain't nothing wrong with the refrigerator. The refrigerator's plugged in, man. Okay. Now here's what I want you to do. Right there, if you're in the kitchen, turn your sink on for me. Turn the sink on. What they got to do with electricity, man? Well, see, that's a nitro current. That's a nitro current. You wouldn't understand that, but I need you to turn that on for me, too. Just turn it on full blast. He said full blast. Got it on? I got it on. Okay, now go in your master bedroom. I can turn it off? No, let that water run. Go in your master bedroom and go in the bath for me. I appreciate you helping me out on this. Man, one, come know? on, man. Quincy, I appreciate you. I'm in you a hurry. Out. I mean, everything, it's, everything's working. I'm in, the, I'm in the bath. What's up? Okay. Flush that toilet for me, Quincy. Mm -hmm. what? Flush that toilet for me. Flush the toilet? <laughs> yeah, flush that toilet. Man, it ain't even electrical. What it is, it's an it's a, it's a aqua boogie. Man, look, you need to get somebody. I'm okay. I'm going to flush the toilet. It ain't no electrical plugs or nothing in this area, man. Mm -hmm. Right, I understand that. You know, see, what it is, this is an aqua boogie current <clears throat> that flows through that water. F flush that thing for me one time. He actually yeah. flushing the toilet, yo. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All I'm right. Done. Toilet works, man. 
You ain't got nobody in the area that can come out here and just check this out, man. Quincy, I'm trying my best not to come out and 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 and, and turn your power off. And I know you got somewhere to go. Why you turn my power off, man? You supposed to be making sure the power stay on. Right, I understand that. Now, do you have, Quincy? Do you have a blender? Yeah, I got a blender, man. I got a blender. I got a TV. I got a refrigerator, and they all work. The toilet works. Everything works. All right, what I want you to do is get this blender, and we'll just throw you a few cues of eyes or something in there and turn that thing on for me. Come on, man. We're almost done. I got to get to work, man. Just work with me, the Quincy. Blender. I appreciate it, man. This is just the blender. Come on, man. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. Yeah, that's the eye symmetric current. You, house, man. you need to check the next house. You don't have no problems with no smoothies or nothing in that thing, do you? Smoothies. You man, what the hell that got to do with anything, man? I got to get to work. I you understand. I understand. Listen. Give me a minute, man. This is going too far. Okay. Have somebody okay. come out here or do this because I need to get to my job. Mm -hmm. And I, and I, I understand that. Job. But I, well, I could just call and have people go through the damn house playing scavenger hunt. I got to get to work. Okay, <laughs> now listen, Quincy, one last thing. Are you able to shut that breaker, put that breaker back on, and then shut off downstairs and then go upstairs and check some stuff for me? Shut off what? Shut off the breaker downstairs. Go ahead and turn it I'm up. not shutting off no breaker downstairs. I shut off the one upstairs. We didn't turn on every damn thing down here. You didn't have me. I got the blender. I didn't turn on the microwave. <laughs> and the refrigerator. Come on, man. Flushing the toilets and I got to get to work. Quincy, I need you to lose this attitude you got. <laughs> I need you to get somebody down here to do this. My electricity in my house works. It worked for you. Call me. The only thing that ain't work is my ain't at work because I'm here doing this bull. Play it off and on. Get somebody in here. This works. Now don't piss me off and make me turn it all the way off. You sure all my work. And when I get back from work, my still should be on. I got one more thing I need to say to you, Quincy. It better be the last thing. <laughs> this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your sister Gail. When he flushed the toilet. <laughs> Gail better be in a witness protection program, man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, That's funny. Let me turn this water off, man. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, let me ask you something, man. What is the baddest, I'm talking about the baddest, radio show in the land? <laughs> That's got to be the Steve Harvey morning show. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, I'm trying to reach Dan, brother, brother Dan, Dan. Hold on, hold on, let me cut the TV down. He's I'm trying to reach uh, brother Dan, brother Dan. Oh, oh this uh, is Okay, yeah, this is brother Scott from the church, from uh, Belt the Baptist. Oh, uh, hello, brother. Yeah, I call you, I'm, I'm I'm trying to get a little information about the church band. What's, what's your schedule? Uh, uh, you drive the church band, what's, what's your schedule? Uh, I drive it Wednesday, uh, Fridays, and Sundays. Okay, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Now, Sunday, what what is that schedule? Oh, well, Sunday, I, I usually start about eight o'clock in the morning, probably a little earlier, depending on some of the elderly people that I have to go pick up and uh, bring to the church, make sure they get there okay and get situated, and make sure they're on time for the service and whatnot. <laughs> Okay, and then you take them back home after yes. service is over? Yes, I, I try to get all of them back home unless they got family members or something that come up there and meet them up there and want to take them to dinner or something afterwards. But I usually okay. get everybody back home. Okay, okay. Now, this past Sunday, mm -hmm. which is part of the reason why I'm calling you, uh, they saying that um, some of the church uh, members that was on the band this Sunday, Mm -hmm. Uh, they are, are complaining, saying that um that the church band was smelling like weed when they got on there. Excuse me. They say the church band was smelling like weed when they got on there, and you are the person that was oh. driving them. Oh no 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 not 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 the van that that I'm driving. I'm, I don't no I don't I ain't smoke weed in no van. Uh, he sounds uh, like uh, Do you smoke weed? No, I don't smoke weed. I mean, like not it. currently. I mean, I have before, but I don't smoke weed now. And I wouldn't smoke weed before picking some people up to go to no no damn church. Now, what? I, where are you okay. picking it from? Who told you this? Well, I, all I know is what what what's come down the pipeline is they saying that 
the, 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 a couple of the members came complaining. Oh, now, that, the, now, see, see, now, nah, see, this, this just happened last week about this pipeline. I want to know who the <laughs> pipeline is because just last week they came at me talking about that I, I, I was using the van to go places that I wanted to go to on my personal time. Now, I don't do that. I don't do stuff like that. Now, I done had a past. I done had a history, but I don't do stuff like that, and I wouldn't smoke in no <laughs> church van. So are you seriously talk, talking? What, 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 what we're, trying to, we're trying to get to the bottom of it and see what's going on with you. Well, what um, elderly person said it? Do you know which one? I don't they, know. They I, love me. Every Sunday, them people tell me they love me. Uh, uh, they say I'm one of the most respectful young gentlemen they've ever met in their life. And so I, I really find it hard to believe that you 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 getting these type of complaints about me. Okay, what well, that mm. one, one of them says, smell yeah, like ooh wee. I don't know what that means or nothing like that. <laughs> Look, brother, Scott, now, now I, I don't know you too well, and I know you don't know me, but I, I I've been driving this van as, as as a point to try to change my life and where I come from. So this was was something that I wanted to volunteer, even though I'm getting paid to give my time to do this for the church. And now this is like the second instance where y'all done came at me on some stuff about like I'm trying to do something with this van. Now why would I disrespect the church van by smoking? Smoking weed in it, and then letting the weed stay in there so other people can smell it. Okay, so let me tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out here to the this church van crazy. today. We're gonna go out here today and open it up. Now, if we see any seeds or anything around the the, the driver's seat, mm-hmm. then 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 we're gonna we're gonna definitely uh, have we're a finger point. We're gonna open the van up. Man, I was raised in that church. Man, my mama go to that church. My grandma, she go to that church. She the reason we even all at that church. And you think I'm going to mess up they damn name by driving around in a van full of elderly people smoking some then weed? Then why do then why do it smell like weed, brother Dan? I don't know why the, <laughs> the van smell like weed, man. You now, I, don't, weed. I don't got the answers to these questions. I'm just trying to tell you that it wasn't me. Did you have some weed in your pocket and maybe it would just smell it? I ain't <laughs> had no weed on me. Stop trying to say like I had weed on me. And you ain't going to give me nothing. I ain't had no and we ain't had no weed on me, okay? Now, you ain't going to mess up my name or my family's name in this church and disrespect us like this. Now, we've been helping this church for years, and I'm trying to tell you that I ain't riding around in no van smoking no weed with no elderly people. Did you ask any of the elderly people if they had any weed on them? Uh, 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 no. We didn't, no. No, I didn't think about no elderly people having no weed. So you just assume it's me. What one of them got glaucoma or something? Yeah. What, 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 you know what? You know who I think, what, you know who I think the weed belong to? Who? Who? I think, I think the weed belong to Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning <laughs> Show. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? What the <laughs> heck? <laughs> Man! Oh my God, <laughs> Man, so you just awesome. got pranked. <laughs> oh my God! You just got pranked. What is his name? His name is Brother uh, Brother uh, Lawrence Lawrence Ross. Lawrence. Oh my God! <laughs> Larry, they call him Larry, but his name is Lawrence. Oh man, I know that he's Tell Larry. Tell Larry he in trouble with me. I'm going to hit him with the van. That's funny. Oh, man. Hey, I got one more thing. I got one more thing to ask you, man. What is the yes, baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Man, Steve Harvey morning show, man. Yeah, I got me. Oh, man. man, go on and rest, man. Go on and chill out the rest of the day. I try, I man. I know like I ain't gonna smoke though. no weed. <laughs> That's funny. Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to speak to uh, Angel, please. This is Angel. Who's this? Angel, how you doing? My name is Randall. I live in the in the apartment building that you live in. How you doing today? I'm I'm doing okay. Is something wrong? Well, we got a little bit of a problem. Uh, I know it's a lot going on right now, you know, with the with the virus and all. But uh, it's been brought to my attention. I, I talked to the doorman. And he was telling me, I, I've, you're the only person I've really seen going in and out of the building. W- where exactly do you work, if you don't mind me asking, oh, Ms. Angel? I actually do mind you asking. Um, can you tell me why you're concerned about where I work and where I'm going? Okay, so here's the deal. Like, you know, we're all concerned about, you know, this whole virus thing. I'm noticing you going in and out this building every day. Every day you're going in and out, and I noticed that. So I asked the doorman about you, and he said something about that you had to go to work or you 
uh, you know, you got one of those jobs that you, you got to be there or something like that. I don't know. But yes, I, you know, I, I'm an essential worker. But wait, so t- how, where did you get my number from? <laughs> I, I asked around to a few of the neighbors that live on your floor and somebody I just told them I was concerned. I wanted to talk to you about. It. So my problem is this. We're trying to keep this whole apartment building safe. But you going in and out of it does not make it safe for us. You know, you, you kind of need to stay at home right now until all of this is over with. Uh, are you telling me what I need to do? Is that what you I'm telling you what right you now? need to do in, in the safety for the apartment building. That's what I'm saying. You, you, okay. you don't need to leave this. You don't need to leave the house no more. Ooh, I am not the one today. Listen, uh... unless you are going to tell me that you are going to pay my rent and my bills and take care of my daughter, you need to mind your damn business. No, I can no. come and go as I damn well please. No, you're not going yeah. to keep bringing. See, see, that's what that's my problem. And see, that's the attitude I don't like. See, if you're coming in and out of this building, bringing, we don't know if you're bringing something in here or not. That's the problem I have with this, and that's why I'm calling okay, you right now. Okay, do you have now. a problem with with eating food every day? Because I work in a grocery store. I, yeah. Do you have a problem with making sure that the shelves are stocked? You work at and the grocery store. Uh, I do work at that, the grocery store. So you around all them people, and then you coming back to this apartment building? And I'm also around all the food that you probably eat. What's your point? Uh, the point unless is, you're, you unless work... you're hauled up in there eating canned tuna from two years ago, rice and beans, I'm pretty sure your food came from the grocery store. So essential workers like me are crucial to keep those uh, stores open. I, I listen, listen. I, I I understand, but as far as you know, I, I'm 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 part of the team that 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 controls uh, all the people in the building as far as the neighbors are concerned. <laughs> I think I think you you misunderstand who you might think you are to me. You're nobody to me. You're just a neighbor. You don't control anything. You don't Dang. control where I go, who I go with, when I go, when I come. You don't control any of that. So I don't know what you think <laughs> you might control. But well, I, 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 let me say this. <laughs> End of the day, you need to keep your ass at home until this is over with. That's it. That's not, you're gonna make well, me I'll safe. be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for that check for the rent and for my bills. So when you slide that underneath the door, I'll do as you please. I'm not until coming then, nowhere near your door. Mm-hmm. I'm not coming right. nowhere exactly. near exactly. your Exactly. Uh, let, let me say this here. Near if I, if I, do. if I see you leave your building again, we're not letting you back in. <laughs> Are, is this you have lost your mind? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you because we, we see, 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 and see. This is the attitude I don't like. Is somebody <laughs> not taking I don't care it seriously? What attitude you don't like? I pay rent here. I have always paid rent here, and me and my daughter live here, and we mind our business. You weren't going to tell me when I go and come, and when I'm going to get into my own apartment. Get out of here. What is wrong with you? Listen, I'm going to say this to you. If you're not going to abide by what I'm telling you, then I'm, you, you, I already know it's you and your daughter, Christy, up there. I will have, have I'm, both I'm of y'all sorry, move. Compl- me? I I'm will have sorry. you and Did your you daughter, just... Christy, move. What? What? <laughs> okay, I don't know who the f*** you think you are talking to, but I know you are not saying my daughter's name. You need to mind your mother's business. Me and my <laughs> child are my business. You and whoever is your business need to stay the f*** over there and leave me and my family alone. I cannot believe you up in here talking about my kid. Are you out of here? Uh, you lost your mind. Uh. You must have lost your mind. What unit did you say you lived in? I, I didn't, say, I didn't, say, what, what I didn't say what unit I lived in. I didn't say that. Okay, well, go ahead and tell me. Since you got so much to say, since you got such a problem with my motherfucking attitude, okay, well, we can have a conversation face to face. How about that? I, Whatever. While you was at work the other day, I already talked to Chris. While I was at work, why the f- do you know my work schedule? Because I see you when you, you know, leave. But I talked. I talked to. I talked to your daughter Christy when you left the other day. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is clearly a problem. You got me f-ed up because you need to mind your business, and I don't ever want to hear anything about you saying anything near my daughter. You clearly have it f-ed up. Okay, you but your me? daughter, your daughter Christy, is the one that told me to call you. I, I'm sorry, what? Your daughter Christy told me to call you. Matter of fact, she told me to prank call you. This is nephew Tommy <laughs> from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Angel, you just got pranked by your daughter Christy, girl. I'm done. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
Boom, y'all got my blood pressure all up and It's a joke, Angel. It's a joke, baby. Your your daughter Christy got me to prank you, baby. Mm-mm. Okay, y'all ain't right for this. I'm gonna get her. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh. This is not the time for this bull Somebody go you up, Tommy. These people are on edge right now. This is not the time for these games. <laughs> I'm trying oh. to loosen. I'm trying to loosen up the edge, Miss Angel. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to loosen up. Oh my up goodness! The edge. Tell Ooh, me this. Yeah, you. 2020, <laughs> baby. 2020. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? <laughs> the Steve Harvey. The Steve Harvey morning show. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I'm trying to reach. Uh, uh, I think the name is Dom- Dominique. Yeah, speaking. Okay, Dominique. My name is is Mr. Uh, Johnny. D- and uh, I live on on Street. Are are you the person that do a lot of walking in the neighborhood uh, uh, here on and Street? Yeah, um, I don't, I don't think I've met you. I mean, I know everyone on Street. I've lived in the neighborhood for years. Okay, well, I, yeah, you probably don't know. You, know, I don't know if we met or not, but I just know I asked somebody who you was that was passing by, and they tell me that your name was Dominique, and I asked mm-hmm. one of the neighbors if they wouldn't mind if I reached out to you. And uh, I just wanted to tell you that I'm, I'm, you know, I'm having a problem with the, all the walking that you're doing, and especially when you know we we supposed to be practicing social distance or whatever. Oh, but... oh now, listen, sir. I don't know if I I I don't know if I I doubt I stepped on your grass running. I don't know what's the problem. Oh my god! Um, but yeah, I've been jogging um, for years, and you know, and that's just my route. So um, if there well, is there a way you can change, is there a way you can change your route? Why would I do that? <laughs> because, like I say, it's social distancing. You know, some of this stuff is now on the bottom of, of people's shoes. Oh, my you know? goodness. And you can, okay, you can well, leave that. That's not, listen, I'm so sorry. I'm going to cut you off, but there's a lot of shit on the news right now that's not accurate. You have nothing to worry about, especially if we haven't even met. You don't see me. I'm just running by. I'm not hanging out outside of your home or anything but like that. But when you okay? run by, how do I know it's not coming out of you when you run by? How do I know well, that? Then, well, well, then talk to your doctor about that. I'm not a doctor, but I have to exercise. and that's Okay, but I, and I understand you got to exercise, but can you exercise somewhere else? I, I pressure wash my whole sidewalk and driveway only because your ass keep running past here. You what, got me, you, what, what's, what's your door number? You don't need to know my address, ma'am. You don't need to know that. that don't, don't worry about what my address Your address, I don't know what house I need to avoid. How about you just stay off of Street? How about that? No. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. This call is absolutely just ridiculous. You can't ask me. You can't call me right now under all the pressure everyone's going through, asking me not to run. You can run, but just run somewhere else. Don't run on <laughs> Street is what I'm asking. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to feel really attacked. I'm not okay with this. I'm not going to stop running. You're not going to scare me off into... into well, I, do I need to call the... Po- do I need to call the police for this? What you, I, can, I can call the law. What are you going to call the police? What are you going to tell because them, that I'm running? you are not practicing social distancing. Oh, and that's what they say. When, have I, when the hell have I seen you to not practice social distancing? What are you talking okay. about? Well, why, don't you run out, why, don't you run in the, why don't you run in the street and not on my sidewalk? How about oh, you do it like that? You don't uh, own the sidewalk. I, I, I want you to understand that. You don't own that. You can't tell me where to run and where not to run. If I'm not on your property. I pay, let, 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 I pay taxes like every other person around And so do I. And so do I. But I'm getting really f- pissed off right now. And I'm going to let you know I will not stop running. You will not intimidate me. And if you call me again and try to scare me off the uh, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to tell you what you are doing is jeopardizing other people. You are on the sidewalk. That no, is on no, your shoes. No, that no, is you in your chest. Uniform. And you are blowing all that out your throat is what you're doing. <laughs> you are a idiot. You are missing, misinformed. And you don't know what you're talking about asking for my number. Don't ever call me again or I'll call the police on you for harassment. I don't know who you are. D- d- listen, d- d- if, if we can't come to an agreement. Then I'm gonna no, I'm gonna block I mean. the sidewalk off. Nobody gonna be walking on it. Oh, okay. Well, then you can just deal with the city because that's not my problem. You go ahead and you try to block the whole damn street, and you see how that works out for you. What? What? Why do you insist on giving this to other people on on your shoes and and blowing out your mouth? And you you so close to people's houses. I'm, I'm an older man. I don't, I'm an older I, I don't man. I don't need that. What? I don't even know who the hell you are. I told you when I called. My name is Mr. John. Everybody call me Mr.
Okay. So, Mr. I'm just going to tell you, I'm not going to stop running. If I see anybody, I'm going to continue to practice social distancing, but you will not intimidate me into changing my route. I'm not doing that. I've well, I'm going to tell you this. If your black ass is on my sidewalk, I'm going to take my pressure washer, and I'm going to pressure wash them damn shoes that I know is nasty. I know they're nasty when you come up and down my sidewalk. Well, you know I know they're You know what? You know what? This is escalated now. I'm calling my husband. I'm calling the police. Mr. You're going to hear from a lawyer. You're never, ever going to have this conversation with me again because you are a piece of shit. Do you hear me? You are a piece of shit. I'm hanging You out. call me go. Mr. And if you bring your husband around here, I'm going to pressure watch his ass too. Okay, we'll see about that. <laughs> You're not going to intimidate us. Well, let, let, me ask, let me ask you this here. Do you have a, 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 a cousin named Danielle? Did Danielle give you my number? Oh. You do know Danielle, right? Yeah. What the f*** does Danielle have to do with this? Danielle is the person that told me to give you a call and prank phone call. You. This <laughs> is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Yo, Show. Dominique, oh my your cousin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am here like oh my gosh, my gosh, her call because my kids peace. are in the other room doing schoolwork. I've been texting my husband. You have me out here looking crazy. Oh, oh my, my God. I've already started sweating. I really thought I was going to have to take this man to court. Your cousin, I, your cousin I, I, Danielle says oh she runs, my, she wow. runs two, her. three times a wow, day. She wow, said this wow. COVID-19 is driving her crazy, Tommy. You oh got to get her. Oh, my said. God. <laughs> she is, listen, she is messed up. This. I'm going I'm to get her back. <laughs> All right. But you got to tell me, Dominique, what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? <laughs> Obviously, it's the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to uh, find a uh, Heather. Excuse me, what you say? I'm trying to reach a Heather. Is this it Heather? Heather? How are you? Okay, okay. Listen, uh, <laughs> I got your number from uh, from Lois. Lo that's my mama. I'm, I'm my reach. I'm Lois' oldest son. Lois, you, wait a minute. Wait you? a minute now. Wait, wait. Excuse me, Lois. Who's Lois? Lois. Oh, okay. Wait, Lois. 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 Yes. 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 Hi. Okay. How are you? I'm good. You. 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 you you was at uh at Mama Dean's house on um on New Year's Day? Yes, yes. Okay. Everybody was there. Okay, mm -hmm. when I got when I got there you was gone. But what I'm okay. what I'm calling about is you the one made the black eyed peas, right? I did. You enjoyed them? No, I ain't enjoyed the mother thing. That's why I'm calling you. Let me say this here. Let me say this. No, no, Your no. Mother. I'm at work. You can't talk to me like this. Don't do that. Don't do that. Say whatever you got to say, but please don't curse at me. Don't do no, that. No, okay. No, no. Here go the deal. Your mother beans got my fucking oh, stomach all jacked up, and I didn't have to go down to the doctor to get my stomach pumped. I ain't got no damn insurance or none of this shit. You know, this 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 didn't have me messed up for the last week. You know, okay, first so of all, I asked you to stop cursing at me. I've been trying to get your number for the longest to tell you exactly, you know, how f***ed up your damn things is. Okay, first the f*** of all, okay? I told your ass I'm at work. I'm around all these white people. I can't talk to you the way I want to talk to you. But let me just tell you this. Don't call me with the dumb shit. First of all, there's a whole bunch of food there. How do you mm. know? How can you single out my damn beans that made you sit with all that got food there? You're not going to blame me. Get the f*** out of here. Mama, mama, <laughs> mama, mama Dean said you was the one that made the beans. You I don't give a f*** you what Mama Dean said. It was all this food there, and you're going to single out my beans? Nobody else complained? You know what the day's date is? Okay? Ain't not one other person called me about them beans. And... By the, as a matter of fact, other people were complimenting me. Mm -hmm. So for you to call me with the dumb mm -hmm. all late and wrong, mm -hmm. going to blame me probably because you need a doctor's appointment, you should have got Obamacare when it was available to you, and now you want to call me with no, 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 no. So you can no, tell no, no, Lois no, no, or whatever. No, 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 no. You know what? To blame oh. on somebody. You trying to blame this somebody else's food. Joe Beans my stomach up. And that's what and that's what it boils <laughs> down to. And at the end of the day, you're finna give me some at the end of the doctor bill. You know the hell I ain't <laughs> what doctor bill? You said you don't have insurance. So how does the hell did you I, go to the doctor to pay, with no insurance? I had to pay out my pocket to get my stomach pumped. Oh, okay, well it's taken care of. If you paid out your pocket, that means the bill is paid. So you can get the and, off and, my and you gonna reimburse me what No, I'm, I'm not gonna reimburse you with Okay. In fact, I got more beans for you since you got a problem with them. I got a whole bowl for you. Okay. How about? Cause you full of. So if it made you, that's good for you. Hey, look, look. I, look I'm gonna tell you this here right now. Uh, the bill was four hundred seventy-two dollars. I need four hundred seventy-two. Four hundred seventy-two dollars for your bull. 
screen. No, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> You're not getting yeah. no money from me. And I need to go because I got work to do. I don't know what you got to do spending all this time on the phone talking about some beans with all that food. So the rice didn't do it. The meat didn't do it. They had uh, smothered gravy. Gravy always f- people up. That didn't do it. You want to single out my beans? F- out of here. Don't be calling me with this dumb f- you know what, now, I, tell me who gave me your number, because I don't even know you. I do know your mom a little Mama bit. De- Mama, Mama, Mama Dean gave me your number. I called Mama oh, so Dean. Mama Dean number. passing out numbers. Well, I'm going to call Mama Dean, and I'm going to see if anybody else got sick, which I know they didn't, because your ass is full of <laughs> So I'm going to call her, see if anybody got sick. How about we do it that way? And also, I'm going to call your mother, okay? I'm going to call Miss Lois and see why her ass son is calling me on the phone, because this is some bull****. I'm fucking sick and tired of this phone call, and nothing was wrong with my beans. If anything, something wrong with you. And so take a laxative, clear your ass out, and keep it the f- moving. But you're going to get off my goddamn phone. Okay, okay, okay. They say, they say Tommy has some problem with the beans, too. Huh? <laughs> First of all, I don't even know no goddamn Tommy. I ba- barely know your mom. I just know her by face. I don't even know her know her. So... Tommy, f*** you. I'm calling Mama Dean. She ain't got no business giving my mother f- number to nobody. This is so dumb as hell. What you, what, you, what you want me to tell Tommy then? I just told you I don't know anybody named Tommy. <laughs> okay, so you can tell him whatever the f*** you no, want to no, tell him. And no, if you're no, trying to gain no, other no, people no, who no, want to no, jump no, on your side, it's not going to happen because <laughs> nobody complained about the beans. Give me okay, names. No, but, Give me another name because Tommy wasn't there. I know just about everybody that was there. Wasn't nobody named Tommy there. Okay, okay. So you are gonna say nephew Tommy? Nephew Tommy wasn't there. What? <laughs> <laughs> nephew Tommy. This is nephew Tommy yeah. from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Heather, you just. Oh! <laughs> are you crazy? <laughs> your cousin oh, Faye. Your cousin oh. Faye got me to prank phone call. Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm at work. People walking by me, looking at me. I'm about to get written up. With you, Tommy? Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> and I know my beans are good. I know. Oh. Are you? oh man, you got me. You got me wanting to taste your black eyed peas, baby. They are good. And ain't nobody complain. I'm sitting here like I know I ain't get these people sick. <laughs> you ain't gonna get no money. <laughs> oh. hey, tell me this, baby. Tell me this. What is the baddest, the baddest radio show in the land? Oh, but you know it, but you know it's Steve Harvey morning show. Oh my God. Ah. Oh, baby, oh, this is great. <laughs> Oh, oh man! Happy 2020 to you, Heather. Keep cooking your beans, baby. You all good. All right, thank you. Have a new year. All right, happy new year. Hey, and next year I'll probably pop up in Mama Dean's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome to come. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach our Brielle, please. Uh, this is she, Master speaking. This is Lawrence from The Job. How you doing today? Oh, I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Listen, we got a situation at The Job. Uh, I know it's a little late this evening. Uh-huh. Um, are, are you are you all right health-wise? How are you feeling? Um, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I mean, I got a little well, cold, so I've been a little under the weather. But you're, you, you're in a cubicle. Then. Most of the, the people around your cubicle are starting to be a little worried because they're saying that... You know, you're you're coughing a lot, uh, and and coughing. you know, yeah. So I mean, let I me ask you something. Do you, right? Okay. Do you think that you need to maybe be tested? Tested uh, for what? I know you ain't talking about this damn uh uh what's it called coronavirus. <laughs> do, you, do you do you do you think you need to be tested? Do I think I, I think you need? No, excuse me. Wait, let me hold on. Listen, I know the world's in a frenzy. But everybody don't got no damn coronavirus, okay? I have a cold. <laughs> I'm a little stuffy, but nonetheless, like I'm so, taking care of food so, and taking care of myself. I don't need to be tested for anything. Okay, so <laughs> do you do you think it's possible? Maybe you need to be self quarantined and, t- and, and Lauren, find out. Lauren, uh, Lauren, honey, I think you are stepping on toes right now. Okay, um, I, that that's very inappropriate. I don't know mm-hmm. who put you up to this, but nonetheless, I think y'all really stepping on toes. This, this has got to be like HIPAA or something. Like, what the f- is this? Okay, like, okay, I don't okay, have me, no damn okay. coronavirus. So let me just say this to you. We, <laughs> I, I've talked to everybody on that floor that you work on. All right, I talked. I've talked to Darlene. 
All right. I've talked to what's the other girl? Her name is Loretta, I think. Loretta. I've, I've spoken with Loretta. Uh, Loretta. Okay, Loretta ain't just say no mess like that. What do you? What, what do you th- okay. So here, here, let me let me let me let, let, let me say this. You got one more cough, and they and they gonna put you out of the building. What, excuse me. <laughs> one more. You got. Cough. Listen. Okay, Lawrence. That's her name, right? My name is Lawrence. I'm on the eighth you, floor. You yes. You. Okay, you on the eighth floor, so you're not even in, in HR to even be coming at me like this. First but all, but but I but you know what? We tr- I went to the we tr- doctors. I don't know where, where y'all get off coming at me like that. Okay, I do not get paid enough for nobody to be testing me by my personal business. Okay, y'all really tw- y'all me twisted. I was with this f-ing job. Y'all got me all the way f-ed up. Okay. 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 Let me let me go and say this here. You act like this your personal business. It's our business when you start coughing all over the building and we go in the country going through what is going through right now, what the world is going through. So you got to understand what that the we. What is going through? I don't give a damn what the world is going through. I'm going through my own. Sh- okay. All right. I got two kids. <laughs> I work very hard. I'm a single mother, and I'm up here doing the best I can. I got a call, and I still bring my ass to work every. Day and I'd be on time. So for anybody to be coming at me like that, that is disrespectful. Okay, I put in 10 years at this job and I don't give a damn. Y'all got me messed up. Now I need to speak to your higher up. Who is your boss? I, hey, listen, I, I'm going to say I'm gonna say it one more time. You got one more cough and your ass is out this bitch. That's it. Yeah. Ain't nobody been to get... Time is talking to me like that and I'm going to drive through this mother phone and choke your ass. I don't care who you talking to. I don't know who you think you talking to, but you got me all the way messed up, okay? Listen here, okay? I don't give a damn coronavirus. You need to bring me a corona because you're stressing me out right now, okay? <laughs> I work too hard for this okay? I be on time for work. I do not call off shit. Other people be, you know, doing, taking a long smoke breaks and shit, and I do what I do. I <clears throat> Listen, I... I uh- uh 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 uh. See there it is right there. That's it right there. Did you did you just cough again? Did you just cough? Listen, Bri 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 Did you just did you just cough? Yes, I just coughed. I told you I got a cold. I don't got no damn coronavirus. You know what? I'm about to argue with you. Who's your boy? Who's your boy? Who's your mother boy? I were I uh Tommy is 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 my higher up. Tommy. Yeah, Tommy is Tommy is the person that's over me. What? What Tommy? I don't know no Tommy. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show? Huh? <laughs> Darlene and Loretta got me to prank phone <laughs> call you. <laughs> Listen, 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 Brielle, Brielle. Darlene oh and Darlene and Loretta got me to prank phone call you. Your girls oh is in the God. cubicles with you. Got me oh, to prank they, phone call you. Oh, I'm gonna kill them. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh my God. I'm so embarrassed. They told me they say mess with her about her cold. I was like, all right, come on, give oh it to me. God. I got it. Wait, so you guys got this on your show? Mrs. It's, Mrs. It's, Harvey? It's, like y'all gonna it, it, Oh my God! Uh, why would y'all play with me like that? Oh my uh, God! I'm over here fighting this cold, trying to pay my bills, struggling, single mom. Like, oh my God! I can't believe y'all got me like this on the radio. Well, I got you, baby girl. Tell me this: 2020, what's the baddest, and I mean the baddest radio show in the land? What is it? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Now go take you some NyQuil or some music next or something, here. Yeah? <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Hello? Hello. I'm trying to reach a Nikki. This is Nikki. How you doing, Nikki? Uh, I am, I'm Mr. Daniels. I'm calling from the e-learning department. Hey. All right. Your daughter is, is Jasmine, correct? Sixth grader? Yes, sir. Yes, she is. All right. And you guys have been corresponding back and forth with Miss and her teacher? Yes. All right. Uh Miss has brought some things to my attention. Uh Nikki, if you don't mind, who's who's actually helping Jasmine with her schoolwork? That would be me. All right. So, I hate to be a bearer of bad news, but let me let you know what's going on. Is um, wrong with her computer? No, that's not anything wrong with her computer at all. 
I've spoken with Ms. Crawford several times about Jasmine, and we've just balled it down to whoever's helping her with her work is just not doing a good job. Ooh. You should not be the person that's helping her with her schoolwork. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Now, what what you mean? I shouldn't be helping her. That's my child. You said I, I, I shouldn't understand. be teaching my child? I'm saying whoever is teaching her is not doing a good job as a teacher. Mm. You know, and this could affect Jasmine to the point where from the looks of what I've seen and, and what's been turned in, I truly don't see Jasmine going to the seventh grade. I mean, wow. this is, this is, um, is there anybody else there that can help Jasmine with her work? Mm. No, she got, she got me. What's wrong with her work? What Ms. got to say? Cause I just talked to her and she could have told me this. What's, what, what, what's the subject? What's the problem? Mm. Now, well, it's all the science, reading, writing. It's, no, it's, it's not it's, all of them. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> what's the problem? What's what's the problem? Give me the assignment because I'm I've I've been working with her. So what's the problem? Well, everything <laughs> is coming back. I think the last uh, paper I looked at, she got a forty-five on it. Uh, I looked at some math work. It was a, a sixty-two. I mean, if you are the person that's teaching her over there, you're just not no, you can wait. good at on, that. Wait a <laughs> no, you hold on, and you can get Miss on the phone too because I don't I y'all don't got my baby work and if she got a problem she can come teach the child she can open up the schools and get them back because my baby is well, 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 there, there's no opening the schools at at this point right now there's no opening of the schools so Look, we're, if, we're, if she got a problem if she got a problem then she could come teach my child that's what she's supposed to be doing anyway okay mm. but, the, but the problem is right now you're the person that's at home teaching yes. the child you're the person that's at home teaching the girl, and, and it's not helping. So I don't want Jasmine to not make it to the seventh grade, but at this point, it, that's what it's looking like. Wow. Well, look, if I got to teach it, then she's going to learn it how I learned it. Okay, with this math, this new math, they got these kids doing, no. She's going to learn it how I learned it. Five times five, 25. She's going to learn her timetable. Okay, but we can't, ma'am, ma you're undoing what we've taught already. You can't well, take them to, back. Y'all need to teach it. Y'all need to teach it a better way. I send my child to school for this. Okay, I'm not getting paid. I gotta cook. I gotta clean. I'm in here with these kids. I'm being a, a, a mother for all these kids and my husband. I don't have time for all of this. So if if, uh, if the teacher, well, I, you the know, teacher needs to come well, let me say this, Miss Nikki. Let me let me say this, Miss Nikki. I don't have time for a parent not realizing that they're not a good teacher. I don't well, have time I don't for that. Have, uh, whoever who are you? Whoever you are, e learning department, whatever, you need to come e learn my child since I'm not doing it right. Then y'all need to come get over here and do this mother work. Do this work. Okay, my if child, you're you... going to the seventh grade. If I gotta come up there when it when the school open back, oh church, you will see me. We'll have time okay. for this. We got too okay, much going on. You are not a good homeschool teacher. That's <laughs> <Damn>. the problem. <laughs> Baby, my child is going to the seventh grade. Oh church. No. Who is your print? Who is the print? No. No. Let me talk to somebody else. If you ain't doing it. My child is going to seventh grade. She gonna get this. She get this work, and y'all y'all gonna get this work too. I'm, I'm not uh, accepting forty uh, fives and sixty twos on papers, ma'am, and and going to let you your daughter advance to the seventh grade. That's okay. not. You're right. I'll, I'll take it over, but y'all need to double check. And if she's having no, no, problem, no, no, no. Uh, once, once again, teacher? you checking it over is the problem. You're the problem. <laughs> if she got a problem, what she got a mother teacher for? What she got a mother teacher for? The teacher, let the teacher check the work. What's the difference? Let the teacher check the work. I'm not calling you no more. And you, what, hold on, what's your name again? You talking to me? My name is Mr. Yes, Dan. Okay. I'm from the e-learning. Okay, I don't give a damn for, for what e-learning you need. Oh, man. Look, I don't care what it is. I don't care how this first man me. You get off this phone. I'm calling her so right immediately. So she can tell me all this stuff you got to tell me. She don't got to hide behind you. She can call me directly. So thank you, Mr. Daniels. Let me know. Oh, it's about to go down. I don't give a damn. I don't care no more. This school. If y'all got an issue with the way I'm teaching, take the kids back. Come teach in the front yard. I'll open up my door. You can talk, teach my child from outside. You got a problem with it. But that's from right now, I'm all she got. I'm what she got.
I'm going to teach her. She's going to learn it the way I'm teaching her. If y'all got a problem, y'all got a problem. But she going to the seventh grade. Oh, best believe. My baby going to the seventh grade. Okay, then, then, mm-hmm. then maybe maybe I just, maybe I need to talk to Brian, your husband. Maybe I need to talk to Brian. About what? You can talk to me. You can talk to me. <laughs> you don't need to talk to him. You can talk to me. I speak for both of us. So not nah, talk to me. Anyway, okay, well, I, anyway. I just, I spoke with Brian a couple of days ago. So, can you say nothing to me? So, and Brian at okay. work. Okay, but, what? but you know what, what Brian said about this? Said what? Brian. Because he didn't tell me nothing. What? Brian told me to call you. He told me to prank phone call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve oh. Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Nikki, you just got pranked by your husband, Brian. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love you, been driving me up the wall. I heck you know. I hate this. I don't understand this stuff. These kids driving me crazy. They want to. Nigga, you all right? <laughs> oh, my boy. Oh, he get home. He get home. Yeah, I'm getting home. Man, look, coronavirus don't have to see me after this. This too much. I just started drinking. Oh, oh Lord, come get these kids. Tell me one more thing, baby. It's 2020. Tell me what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land. It's the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Okay, y'all. So that was Nephew Tommy. Okay, so I really hope y'all enjoy um, me reacting. I believe these was probably some new ones that he did, I think, in 2020. So, But it was funny. I love it. So I would definitely be doing more of these. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, shoot. I think the length of that video was like 45 minutes and 24 seconds. Yeah. So, yeah, y'all. So I hope y'all really enjoyed that. So... Other than that, y'all, I appreciate the love and support. I appreciate y'all comments. If there's any other video you want me to react, please let me know in the um in the comments. And if y'all enjoy this, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you will miss out on any videos I have for you. But other than that, y'all, y'all stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll see y'all next time. Okay, bye.